Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy, and welcome to the Asus Garage. Here we'll be putting together the best high-end rigs to fit your needs. In today's episode, we're gonna be focusing on giving you the best rig for the extreme gamers in your life. My guest today is a PC enthusiast and a hardcore gamer who's really looking forward to getting a brand new build centered around the 13900 KS CPU and an RTX 4090 Asus GPU. Please welcome Ethan Woods. Hello, hello. Oh, there's so many awesome looking toys on this desk. We definitely have a lot here to play with. So Ethan, how long have you been building PCs? Um, I actually started during 2020 when everybody was oh. on lockdown. What is the most recent rig you've built lately? Back in March, I actually built a streaming rig because okay. Uh, on my main gaming rig, I wanted to be able to stream and game, but the performance was suffering exponentially. So I had the main gaming rig for okay. playing games on and then uh -huh. the streaming rig so it can do all the streaming work. As of right now, you have two builds. So what is gonna be the biggest upgrade, noticeable difference you're gonna see, you think, from currently with two computers to going now to one with a lot higher end components? I'm seeing upgrades across the board. We have DDR5 RAM, a 4090. Yeah. Like the 4090 alone, the smoothness, the way the game's gonna play, mm -hmm. the graphics will look insane. Being able to do both at the same time on one computer is more feasible now, right? More With feasible and uh, I have more desk space instead of it being taken up by two computers. All right, so let's get into today's build. Here are the components we'll be using. Let's start off with the ROG Hyperion case. This is the GR701 case. This is a beefy case yeah. made with its two-way aluminum GPU built-in holders. There's built-in GPU built in. holders. N not needing to add it later. No You're good. sag, You're no good. need for GPU brackets. No, no. But before we get to opening this, let's go ahead and talk about the GPU that obviously oh, everyone yeah. is looking at right now. 3090. So this is the ROG Strix GeForce RTX 4090 GPU with 24 gigs of GDDR6 VRAM. With the new streaming multiprocessors, fourth gen tensor cores and third gen RT cores, this piece of hardware is an absolute beast. Uh, yes, it's a 4090. It's, yeah. it's an ROG 4090. Yeah. I wanted to get an ROG 3080. Yeah, so 49 is already here, and then we're just like, you know, ROG Strix 4090 here, so yeah. But it's going to be going into this ROG motherboard over here. They can handle overclocking if you want to do that later. Mm. This one is going to be the ROG Maximus Z790 Extreme motherboard. Oh, extreme. Now, 790 is perfect for overclocking, so really great for that. Mm -hmm. This has incredible power delivery and the cooling that's going to allow you to reach six gigahertz with this 13 gen Intel core. Six? Not overclocked, not even overclocked. This this CPU Wait, can get- Wait, base to, clock six. Tur turbo, turbo, but yes, it can without even that's, getting to that. That's, uh, that's insane. We're not even overclocking in six gigahertz. That's wild. So gives you an idea of how much fun stuff we can do later. There is a lot of fun and stuff And we're gonna later. try to reach that six gigahertz when we boot this up later in the video, see if we can get there. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. And to keep that CPU nice and cool when reaching that six gigahertz, we're going to use this bad boy right here. It looks very clean looking. The ROG Ryu O3 360 all-in-one liquid CPU cooler. Excellent cooling capability and a great looking component to make sure this build has the aesthetic pleasing to match all this power. Everything just looks really good. I just want to put it together. So I know you're excited to get to the build. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and just list all the other components we use to fill out this build. And let's get started. So sick. We got Thor. This is easily the biggest power supply I have ever held. Look at this radiator, right? Look at that size comparison. You have a built-in screwdriver. One of the things you get with a lot of these ROG products is you get an official gamer's card. You are now a gamer. Ho ho! And I thought I was before, but now it's official. Turn it. 
that is really cool. The heat sink has a screen. That's awesome. All right, guys, the build is all set mm -hmm. up. This looks absolutely beautiful, and now we are gonna be testing out to see what exactly it can do. I'm excited. So, first off, we ran a few benchmarks, and then we're gonna be doing some gaming. We are gonna test to see how much of a gaming enthusiast Ethan Oh, I'm putting is. everything on max. I'm, I'm okay. on hardest difficulty. Okay. Let's go ahead and show them the benchmarks this uh, product did, and it's insane. Remember, none of these are even overclocked. None of these are even doing all the tweaks that we can, push it to the limits. This is just out of the box. So, Geekbench score. Ethan, what is that? Because I I, 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 I can't believe that score, it's to be honest. It's a ridiculously large number. It's Geekbench score of 355,022. I have never seen them go into the hundreds of thousands that high. That's, that's like, insane. Like, I, when, I didn't first register the number. When I saw that, I was like, okay, 35. My brain said 35K. Yeah. And then I was like, wait, no, there's an extra digit. Yeah, no. <laughs> we, <laughs> got, we got six figures with this. And then we move on to the second part of our Geekbench one, which is a single core and a multi-core. And this scoring is really well off as well. So first off, let's start off with the single core for the CPU, and that is going to be at 2,214. But then the multi-thread. I mean, this is where all of those things, the hyper-threading, everything comes into play with the CPU. And that one for the multi-score is, Ethan? A 23,490. Nice. All around, we are getting a really great performance from it. But now we really wanna put it to another GPU test, which is really gonna tell us how it stacks up and how it compares to everything else. And now we have the Time Spy score from 3D Mark. And this one really, again, is very, very impressive. Okay, so with this one, we had an insane overall score of 33,132 with a graphical score of 37,114 and a CPU score of 20,607. Guys, this is pinnacle, right? This, this is, is insane. It's just like, this is wild. It's, it is just impressive how much overall this is comparing to a lot of other systems out there. And this is in its base form. Base, yeah, yeah. Base form. And then let's go into Cinebench, which does give us first our single core score of 2,331. This is a really interesting one just because of how much higher it is, again, compared to past things. We have on here an 11th gen i7 going for less, or yeah, about almost half of that, 1,532. Yeah, so you can really tell just how much it's exponentially gone up. Again, this is not turboed. This is base out of the box. So it's going at 3.19 gigahertz. Really impressive with that and just, yeah, overall an amazing showing for the single core. But the multi-core is again, even better. This one is going at 38,873. Getting close to that 40,000 range, which is again, very impressive to see how far it really is. And let's see how it compares to other ones there. I mean, we're talking more than thread rippers in some of these cases. So it, it really is showing you just how much more powerful overall this really stands out when it comes to synthetic benchmarks. And that is, of course, what we're talking about here, right? Synthetic benchmarks that we're testing out to test out the silicone that's in here. But I think we all want to see how it performs on everyday tasks like gaming. I, I very much want to see. I mean, these numbers say a lot. I want yeah. to throw it on a game and see, see how beautiful it looks. So let's go ahead and play the game, crank every setting all the way up to the top. Maximum! And we have this beautiful Asus monitor here, which is going to give us a 1440p resolution at over 240 hertz refresh rate. So we have a great monitor to set up and play with. And really, let's go ahead and see how it does I'm and excited. how Ethan does. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. All right, Ethan, so what game are we playing here today? We are playing Halo Infinite with HD uh, content pack installed, all, right. all the graphics maxed out with ray tracing on 
maximum or high, whatever the max, the highest setting allows. And one thing I just want to point out before we leave this area is that look at the VRAM usage, right? Like eight gigs would typically max out a lot of GPUs. I think that would actually consume all the VRAM in my GPU at home. There you go. But this, it's like not even halfway. It's like, oh yeah, you said all that to me. That's nice. You're not even halfway through ours. But now let's get started and let's see Ethan's gaming prowess. <laughs> Or lack thereof. We all have to wait and see. Oh, wow. This looks Ooh. so good. Look at the sky. Look at the sol- Oh, this looks so good. Solar flare. <laughs> oh my God, this looks amazing. 120 frames right now. 120. With everything maxed out and it looks so good. And this is at 1440p with everything set to max. But now let's, let's see, see as we move in action. Going around. We're moving towards uh, in a nearby encampment. Okay. All right. Still st steady at like 119, 120 FPS. Oh, that's a oh. ghost. And it's on legendary. It's on legendary. And I was not using cover effectively, nor was I remembering all of my button presses. <laughs> He's actually gone up to 180 frames. Probably as less textures are loading, as less things as he's away and trying to hide. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to. I have to hide. I can't just be aggressive. Screen. This is legendary. Ah! <laughs> so at least the computer is looking great. The I mean, computer the, looks the fantastic. graphics look amazing. So even Three, with all the chaos cover. that's going on, oh my god, that saved my life. We stayed above 120 now at this point. We're constantly getting a really, really solid I'm frame rate. me, bro. And I will say, the fans amped up when we first started, but they're actually kind of like, okay now. Like, I, I, I can't hear from this side, so pretty nice. Yeah, you gotta get the small ones out of the way, because then the big ones will kill you if you're not paying attention. So, that was his last attempt for now, but it was- The gameplay looked great. I'm just sad it's so difficult. It's okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we put together an amazing build here at the Asus Garage. Ethan, what are your thoughts? Uh, this, I mean, this system, despite my gameplay, this system is a hop, skip, and a jump above uh, anything I've been able, even had the opportunity to play on. So this has been phenomenal, and I, I want to play on it so much more. I want to open up every game that I own and to see how well they perform and how good they look. In an entirely different way, right? In an entirely like, different way. Like, you've played Halo Infinite a lot of times, but that is probably different from any other time you've ever played. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it played so much smoother. I didn't notice any frame drop or any bottlenecks of any degree. And then it just, visually, the ray tracing, the, the graphic fidelity, it was just, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. And the thing I'll say is, building this computer, I really saw so many little touches that Asus puts into just all of their hardware. From their motherboard having a screen on top of the heatsink mm -hmm. to you having a screwdriver built into the, like, the, the, hidden, the hidden it's cover. So it's just like all these different things. So the, the PSU actually telling your wattage. Like, mm. this is just all really cool extra things that you get from this. And build. I would say probably one of my favorite things uh -huh. in this build is so minute is the little GPU bracket. That just, built that in, just, right? Just the built in GPU bracket, because some of these GPUs are so big, you just yep. slide it in, bam, perfect. Now there's no sagging, it's just nicely level. It's just awesome. Just all the little touches make it all the better. If you want to put together a build as awesome as this one, be sure to head to asus.com forward slash US for the latest deals and more information on these components. Details will be in the links down below. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on The Asus Garage. So I can play more, right? Like off camera, you saw it firsthand. I play better off camera, less pressure. I can just chill and I think, kill things. I think you had your time. But, but, but it's right here. Now it's my turn. Uh, you know, I get to play. Oh, fine.